brain of yours how to work it on the calculator. Okay, so. <coughs> You will when we start doing it. You'll go, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so where are we going to get these three equations? Well, guys, guess what? These three points, each of these points is going to give me an equation. Okay? This is my x and this is my y. So, a times, what's the x in the first point? Negative 1 squared. Now look. So then you're going to try to do this in your head, and I promise you, it's going to make you make one careless error. Guys, if you miss a sign in writing your equation, will you get the answer correct? No, people. You change the problem. Okay? Plus D times what's that? Negative one. Don't know C. And what's Y? Negative two. Very good. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to write my equation. What's negative one squared? 1a. Now, do I have to write that 1? So why am I writing the 1? Because yeah, in my matrix, what's going to go there? 1. The coefficients will go there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put it there. And then what's this going to be? Negative b. And then c. You're not going to have to c. Because b doesn't have an x. So. It's equal to negative 3. All right, everybody okay? Okay, so now we're going to use the second point. All right, use the second point. I'll give you a minute. You write your equation. I want you to do it over here and then transfer it over there when it's all simplified.
Second in the matrix. If you're not going to edit, what's another choice? Yeah. Are you going to do some math on this thing? Yeah, you are, people. You're fixing to augment. But we're, but we're not going to go to augment. That's not what it's called on your calculator. So you're going to err to the right to math. And then, where are you going to go? Seven. Seven. R ref. R ref. Do y'all remember that? Remember we said ref. Not ref, because there is an R. This is R E F. Okay? If you go up, it's faster, but you, don't, you can always go down. I don't care. But uh, you're going to R ref. Yes, there is an object button, but we're not going to. We're going to R, R ref it. And that's going to put it in that form with the principal diagonal one and the triangle two. Okay? So everybody got this on their calculator. And you got a little box right here, and he's blinking, right? Everybody with me? Okay. So now you're going to press Alpha F3. Okay? It's going to ask you what size it is. Here's the only suggestion I'm going to say. Make sure you press the right arrow key to enter. Don't press enter because it'll pop you right out of that box. Okay? It'll pop you right out of that box. Okay, so you put your matrix in there and you will see what happens. Now, you haven't done this in a while, so you need to be practicing on it.
on 4.10, which is the third page or the front of the second page. I don't know how y'all say that. If I say third page, we all know what I'm talking about. Right? Okay. It has one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could do numbers if we had a normal person numbering these problems. Okay? But you have a flashy person numbering them. Okay, so I'm talking about these, one, two, three, and seven, eight, and nine. Okay, I'm going to tell you, 13, 15, and 17 are just like what we just did. All right, so I'm going to tell you on these problems right here, I'm going to give you an opportunity to earn some bonus points. And I'm going to give you the same opportunity in, um, on the test. Okay? We give you the same opportunity to see on the test. Like, let's say up here on the first one. I don't know what the answer is, but let's say we got this. Y is equal to 2 times X minus 3 quantity squared plus 4. That's the form, right? Everybody agree that you got your answers in? If you put that in standard form for me and you do it correctly, I'll give you two bonus points on the test and the worksheet. Okay? Uh-huh. So what am I going to do to this? If, if I wanted to put this in standard form, what would I do first? Two squared. Yeah. Spencer, could I distribute that two first? Y'all, listen, that's a order of operations. That's eighth grade appeal, okay? So you would have to square this. This is an algebra two skill of which your teacher it's going to throw something at you if you miss it, okay? So, square x minus 3 and tell me what you get. Square minus 3. Square minus 3. Uh, oh, you plus 9 people? Oh, it throw something at you. You never, ever square a binomial and get two terms, y'all. No, 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 no. It's, remember, how, remember, I made you do 39 of them. People, I got you to do 39 so you would remember it. It didn't work, okay? It's square the first, keep the sign, twice the price. Remember how I made you write it on the rainbow? And then plus square the last. Now what am I going to do? Are you going to throw something at me? What? I said plus nine, you said plus nine. Yeah, but you didn't put the minus six back. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 and then I said, oh, okay. I thought, I heard people say, what's the big mistake right here? What do people say? Uh, we X said, squared plus nine. That's what it is, Miss Davis. I got it. I don't know how to do it. No, people. No. Okay. All right. Now we're going to distribute the two. So I'll get 2X squared minus 12X plus 18. Plus four. Don't distribute that to that four people. I'm not doing one of your worksheet problems. Okay? That's your problem, not mine. I made one up. Two x squared minus twelve x plus twenty two. Now how can I check and make sure this was right? Yeah, you can plug them in. You could grapple and stick them in on top of each other. You could also check your T chart. It'll give you um if you if you put this in Y1 and this in Y2, your T chart is going to look like this. It'll give you X's and it'll give you Y1 and it'll give you Y2. What do you know about Y1s and Y2s? If they're the same, then those are the same equations. Does everybody understand? So people, you want to know if you're going to get the bonus points on the test and the worksheet, because I'm letting you use the calculator. I'll do either, any of these. I go from vertex to standard and from intercept to standard. Oh, wait, one, two, three, seven, eight. Uh-huh, one, two, three, seven. So here's an opportunity to get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve points, people. Twelve points. Then you'll get 112. On the worksheet and the test. Yeah. Now look. When will the cloud not be useful? If you have hundreds on all your worksheets. Raise your hand if that's you. Yeah. Nobody has a hundred on all their worksheets, people. Okay? So, it could be accessible for everybody. Um, all right. I think that's about it. 
We're going to learn the back page tomorrow, okay? So you can have the rest of the time to work on your work. Yeah.